Boom. What's up, boys, and welcome to episode number five in our Building Bayer Leverkusen Football Manager 19 Career Mode One Season Playthrough using Bayer Leverkusen going through a full season to see how far up the Bundesliga table and the Euro competitions we can make it. Uh, we're going to get to the details in that in just a second. If you guys are enjoying the Football Manager videos, there will be two more after this. Episode six and number seven will be uploaded in the next few days. If you guys are enjoying, hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below of course thank you football manager for uh thanks to football manager for sponsoring these seven videos if you guys do want to play alongside me a download link can be found in the description below so let's dive into it let's get into the uh let's get into the important stuff so, uh first we've got another big clash and it seems like we're just it seems like we just keep getting put up against the best of the Bundesliga week in and week out. We need a couple easy matches, and that is not what we're going to get coming up against Leipzig away. Uh, we've got Stuttgart, which we should be able to beat, and then we've got Augsburg, who are currently 13th on the table. I shouldn't say anything right now because we're sitting there at 15th, uh, so we have much work to do. A draw result, we will see our recent, uh, our recent results here. Uh, we got ourselves a draw versus Werder, and then a very, very promising draw versus Hoffenheim, who are currently sitting, if we go over to the table, they're currently sitting at number three with uh, with 20 points. So if we can beat them, I feel like we can really get a result versus anyone, but uh, that is to be seen. Let's go to our inbox uh, and see what's going on over there. Our fitness test, so we're going to move on. Uh, Leipzig Bayern, is it actually happening right now? We got to do our team selection right now. Okay, hold on. So uh, we're going to go with Yedvav. We're going to go with, um, do we want Retzos in there? I think maybe we have Retzos who I believe we've sort of, uh, we've sort of ignored him. He's like a decent, uh, he's a decent option there. Uh, Retzos is currently a three-star Jonathan Ta, and then Tim Yedvav is, uh, is two. So we're going to try something different. We're going to go with Yedvav. Uh, we're going to sit Mitchell Vieser. That's probably not going to sit too great with him, uh, but we are going to go with Alario. We're going to go with Havertz, and I'm wondering if maybe we bring Aurengiz a little bit higher as a supporting, uh, as a supporting midfielder, because that's a little bit more in his wheelhouse. So this is the team we're gonna go with. We've got the Gegenpress again. Um, it is a custom Gegenpress tactic. We are, uh, the teams are warming up. We're gonna hand over to the assistant defense. Um, assertive. I'm expecting you some salt. I'm expecting some solid work. Assertive. Um, I'm expecting, and then of course attacking. We're gonna go passionate there. I'm expecting to see quality finishing out there. Come on, boys. Come on. Vitegates. Good. I like that. I like that. Kareem Brella Ravi, you know what we're going to do? We're going to bring on Julian Brandt. We're going to make that as a sub right now. Alright, get creative. Get creative. Inspired by the feedback. Come on, get creative, boys. Lars Bender! <sighs> Come on! Please, no. Please, no, no, no. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Look at that, dude. We're dead even with them. Ta has been totally dominant in the air today. Oh, please. Oh, my God! Kevin Boland! Kevin Boland, 2-1! Weiter geht's, Jungs! If we get a result for Leipzig, could you imagine the scenes? We're gonna make a sub. We're gonna make a sub. We're gonna take off... Uh, we are gonna take off... Kareem Stel Ravi for Julian Brandt. He seems a little nervous, so we're gonna take him off. Oh my god! 3 1! 3 1 versus Leap I don't wanna curse it yet! It's only the 82nd minute, but boys! Leon Bailey! The scent to the youngster Julian Brandt, the Wonderkind! Come on! That is what I am talking about! What a result! What a massive, massive three points, boys! Nine shots, five on target, 48% possession! Lars Bender steps up and gets himself a goal. Let's go to the dressing room. Um, you played very well today. Uh, let's go, let's go uh, passionate. That was really special, guys. And then we are going to hand over to the assistant, and we are going to end the pep talk. Oh my dear lord, we beat Leipzig. 
Raises player fitness concerns. I have some concerns in the wake of Bayer, uh, in the wake of our victory over Leipzig regarding the condition of five Bayern, play five Bayern players. Uh, Bayern players. Bailey, Aranguiz, Havertz, Ta, Visser, a little jaded and can do with some rest. Uh, so we will address that. Bender sharp and narrow win. Lars Bender found a game and he got himself a victory. He got the he got the game. He got the goal that got the game popping, dudes. And this is the squad. Hold on. Uh, the tactics. This is what we got right now. Um, Arangi's got himself on a red, did he? Huh. Okay, so that's gonna that kind of sucks. So we're gonna have to bring in. I'm wondering if maybe we bring in Lars to play opposite his brother. Sorry. Wait. What am I saying? No. We're gonna bring in. Uh, we're gonna bring in his. Uh, what am I? What am I even talking about? We're gonna bring in Sven to play opposite his brother Deep uh, Deep Lying, and he's gonna be defensive. So that's what we're gonna set there. We're currently on a two-win form, and we've got an absolute easy match. Which they've only got, dude. They've got one win and eight losses. If we don't beat Stuttgart, and I'm sorry that we're gonna have to do it to him, but I think we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to whip Stuttgart's legs, bros. Uh, in terms of training. Let's see, individual, uh, we're gonna rest, uh, let's see, he said, uh, he said, uh, Schnellerabi, he is conditioning, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to no pitcher, uh, no pitcher gym work for two days, uh, we're gonna do the same for Kai Havertz, uh, he needs to rest up, we're gonna do no pitch or gym work for two days, and then I believe he said Suarez as well, no pitch or gym work for, uh, two days. So, increased chance of injury. We don't want to get these guys injured. Yonatan Ta, uh, we'll go down, we'll drop down to, you know what, no pitcher gym work for one day and see what that gets him in, ter in terms of rest. Uh, so, we are going to rest the boys. We're going to see how, we're going to see if that raises the morale a little bit of the boys um, and see if a uh, little bit of extra health a little bit of extra rest gets them where they need to be. Lars Bender turned into a performance of the highest quality. Bender gave Bayer the lead with a curling shot in the top corner. Maybe the most important goal of the season, no joke. Uh, Kai Havertz didn't play well. It was too. It was a bad day in the office for the advanced playmaker as he made a number of individual errors to compound a poor overall performance. Interesting, right? Strange. He's been so good for us, and we didn't. We literally didn't change anything, man. Um, Hopner reports on Scott progress. We're gonna go to training advice summary. Um, feels general good, uh, wants less, wants less strength training. Kareem Bellarabi feels general training workload is too low. Uh, Alario developing concerns. I'm just letting you know that Lucas Alario doesn't see himself at the minute. I think he's struggling with being out of the team recently. Well, you could have helped us out by scoring a few goals, dude. So we're going to do, a, we're going to discuss with Alario directly. I've noticed that you seem a bit down at the moment. Um, you know what? And, and I'm going to be calm. I'll give him some minutes off the bench, but he just wasn't doing enough for us. I'm not going to get anywhere near enough. Uh, soccer from the bench to show what I can do. I need to start matches, and I don't care if it's here or another club. I just need soccer. Um, let's see. Let's not escalate this. You're just going to be patient, I'm afraid. It means that you need to work hard to prove it. Yeah, work hard to prove it. I mean no disrespect by saying that, but I think I've earned a chance to play here. As so okay, as soon as possible. Don't let me down. I don't like where this is going. Okay, well, you know, we'll give him... Thanks, boss. I didn't want to cause a fuss, but I just couldn't leave things as where they were. I'll prove I deserve a chance. Don't worry. Okay, hey, there's few problems that are better than having two strikers that are dueling against each other's necks. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that gets them... Uh, hopefully that motivates the both of Kevi Voland and Alario. So Visser's injured, right? So that means we're going to bring in Yedvab for this match. Uh, we are going to change him to uh, wingback support. Uh, Bender and him are going to stay there. Kai Havertz, uh, Bailey, and then I think we're going to take out Sven Bender. And we are going to bring in Baumgartlinger because we did promise him a little bit of playing time, didn't we? And then let's see, what is he ideal for? He's ideal for support. Your decision to drop Leon Bailey has caused a bit of a stir. Uh, he is just being rested, 100%. Guys, it's the media just trying. It, the media loves doing that, dude. The, the media loves tearing people down. Let's play. Anything less than a 2 0 result. Anything less than a anything less than a two no result is gonna be uh, is gonna be a negative. We're gonna get creative, dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, we can't be sweating. We can't be sweating for Stuttgart. Come on. Or is that that was offside? All right, never mind. All right, calm down. Calm your nuts. Calm your nuts, bro. All right, again, this is not gonna be a, no chance. It's gonna be a goal. Hey, we gotta tighten it up, man. Robbie, hey, that's what I'm talking about, boy. Oh man, his his bro his 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 bro Leon Bailey's just sitting there. Um, do we want to slow that down a little bit? Let's slow let's slow that speed down slightly faster. Okay, there we go. 82nd minute, we're gonna make a sub. You know, what, just to bring on Kevy Bolon, maybe light a little bit of flame under. Uh, see if we can get a little bit of a result out of Lucas Olario. 
and then um, and then an encouraging shout with just three minutes left. Is there a little bit of quality? Please, not here. Don't fluff it here, boys. Who's going in for? Wait, wait, wait. What? Julia. And is that it? Full time. Two wins back to back. 19 shots. Seven on target. 55% possession. An incredible performance from Danilo Suarez. Even though his match fitness hasn't been great. We get ourselves another. Uh, another victory, boys. That couldn't have come at a more impressive time. We were at seventh place. Oh, sorry, I think we were. At, we're still in seventh place. All right, so we're qualifying. Uh, we're qualifying for Europe there. Uh, we've got five wins, four draws, and three losses with 19 points, and we needed that because I believe, I'm pretty sure, we've got a pretty massive game coming up. Versus uh, not only the Milan one in a few days, but then Augsburg, who should be an easy match. But then after that, we get Eintracht Frankfurt who are uh, currently sitting at second, and then Schalke number four. So that's going to be a very, very tough slew of games. We're going to see if maybe we can make ourselves a signing. We got Vine Zero fired! No, dude. I didn't mean for that to happen. We got the head coach. We got the Stuttgart head coach fired, bro. Hey, Kai Havertz. Hey, he had a down week the week before, but he bounces back with a nice little performance. Hey, go on, Kai. Go on, my little Kylio. Dude, little Kylie Ren. Did I, did I really just say that? You come into this one on good form whilst your opponents do not. Do you perhaps fear complacency ahead of kickoff? Hell no, dude. It's a different sort of challenge, 100%. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this thing popping, dude. Balanced. We're going to shout. And we're going to do. We're going to get creative early. We're going to stay unbalanced. We're going to do it a, a get encouraging shout. And I'm calling it right now. We're going to get ourselves a goal before the 20th minute. How? Bro, what is going on? How have we not scored yet? I'm not happy with your finishing. 100% not happy with your finishing. Not happy with your playmaking efforts. Uh, and not happy with your uh, defensive work. Come on, boys. Referee? That's a pen. Hit up and out, please. Aranguiz, right up the middle. I think maybe we need to take off Leon, bro. Bring in Julian Brandt. Bring in the youngster and see if that changes anything. And then we're gonna issue a uh, we're gonna issue a show some passion. I feel like that's gonna be the difference maker right there. Let's go. Ten minutes left. Julian Brandt, the Wonderkind, the Bayer Wonderkind, and that is going to hopefully that is gonna do it. Uh, we're on balance right now, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go uh, We're gonna issue a concentrate dude. I am a shout manager Please no. Oh, yeah, please. Yes, but please don't uh, yes full time. Let's go two one another three points Yes, man. Come on Boys, we are absolutely crushing this season. Where are we on the table right now boys? We're all the way up to fifth That's the highest we've been on the uh, that's the highest we've been all season long Come on is uh, the most recent development is that we are currently as you guys can see we are sat there in fifth place, two, uh, two spots clear of European competition. So we are very happy with that. It gives us a platform to build on 100%. Training schedule, we're just going to keep this training, uh, the training schedule as is. Um, Emmanuel Baum has surprised some experts by graciously, graciously admitting that your buyer 04 team fully deserved their late goal against this side. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, I would have expected no less from Emmanuel. He's one of the nicest, most honest people in soccer. I appreciate his honesty and agree with the suggestion that we deserve something from this match. I agree. Mitchell Vischer, Danilo Suarez have picked up an automatic one match bans after collecting five yellow cards. So we've been knocked out of the European competition, but we do get 666,000 co- uh, All right, so we've been knocked out of the Euro Cup, but we have been given 666,000 uh, uh, dollars uh, for the win against Mitilan, but we have been knocked out. The post-press match conference, uh, we're gonna send the assistant. Unfortunate, uh, Bender, again, Bender's been so good for us and, and hoping that uh, we can carry that on into our regular season matches what we're is what we're really focused on here because we do have a date with uh we do have a date uh set with uh Eintracht Frankfurt in just a couple days who are currently sitting on the uh at the second with 27 points we're there at 22 points fifth place and I feel like you know what 
call me crazy if you want, but I feel like we have the quality to possibly get a good result. If, if a draw would be an incredible, incredible result for them. They've got, obviously, Nikolai Muller. They've got Kostic from Stu uh, the ex-Stuttgart man. They've got Alan. They've got Geraldis Toro. And then Trap is going to be the guy that we're going to have to get through. Da Costa, very talented wing back as well. But um, we've got ourselves our own little issues here. Looks like the, uh, the the club happiness. It looked like there were some guys that were a little bit un uh, unhappy. Kai Havertz, we gave him a little bit of a rest, subbed him off uh, for Shinji Kagawa, Shinji Kagawa early in that one. Um, I've been extremely pleased with the way you've been improving about your game to play a new role. Uh, thanks. I found it exciting, and I really appreciate it. Okay, cheers, boss. I'll see you. And then we're gonna criticize um, Paul Plampo. You you got a point. I need to buck my I need to buck my ideas up. That's the I don't think I've ever heard that saying in my entire life. Is that a is that like an English thing? What is that? I need to buck my ideas up. Bayer Leverkusen uh, go into this game, uh, this away game with every chance of walking away with something against slight favorites. Eintracht Frankfurt. Bayer are currently lying in fifth place. Uh, they can move up to fourth in the table and will hope to leapfrog Schalke. Could you imagine the scenes if we managed to pull that off? We've got Mitch Wieser and Suarez currently on uh, currently on on suspension because they did get themselves five yellows throughout the course of the season. Both teams come into this on good form. I enjoy these matches a lot. The players don't need any extra motivation, and they demand a high standard of soccer. I think we've got what it takes. Uh, they're a very good team. We are going to challenge. We are going to go straight to kickoff, boys. Sebastian Haller. God damn it. Yes! Baumgartlinger, come on, bro. Julian Baumgartlinger, I knew there was a reason that we had you in the squad. I knew there was a reason we had you in the squad. Leon Bailey, you know, 53rd minute. I think we'll bring him off in the 70th. Oh, please tell me. Please tell me that number two is on its way. That'll be a goal kick for Eintracht Frankfurt. No, don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. Ah, the Guzman. Ah, that's, that's trash. That is absolutely trash. Right, Dragovich, Havertz, Bender, Tom Garland, the boys passing it back. We need we need this to be a plus play for us. Wait, reviewing the footage. Wait, do we have a pen decision? Come on, let's get that bar, bro. Talib Tawata, let's get a red and let's get a pen. Yes, it's a penalty. Oh, it's outside the box, though. Never mind. No, it is. It's in the... Kevin Volan buries it. Yo, if we can get... You know what? A draw? Like I said at the beginning of the match, if we can get ourselves a draw, we're going to take off Leon Bailey, and we are going to bring on Julian Brandt. And maybe that is... Maybe that's the, the difference maker there. Dr Dragovic, a little bit nervous. He's out of his uh, he's out of his depth just a tad bit. Uh, we're sending it down deep. Kevin Volan is... Boy! Yes! Kai Havertz! 3 2 2 You want to know what? I'll take it. Mm, that's... That is soul crushing. That is soul crushing, bro. But you know what? They're second place. I'm to Frankfurt. I will take it. We played well, boys. We're going to do a custom uh, pep talk. We'll address everything in training. Defensively, uh, unlucky but good effort. Unlucky but good effort. Unlucky, dude. That is the theme. That's the theme of that match right there. We got super, super unlucky. We dropped down to sixth place for six, five, and three with 23 points, but a tough, tough, gritty performance versus Eintracht. We got so close. God damn, we got so close. Not only did we get ourselves a result there, but we maintain an unbeaten record, has extended their unbeaten record in the Bundesliga to eight games following the 3-3 result against Eintracht Frankfurt. A strong improvement in recent games has deemed Der Wechschef, uh pushed themselves into contention in the race for continental soccer next season so not too shabby alonzo but anyway boys that is going to conclude for episode number five episode number six and seven coming out shortly in the next few days here uh, we're going to have some transfer stuff to do in the next epi we're definitely going to want to make some signings 
uh, Visera and then Suarez not being available uh, we're definitely highlighted the fact that we need some wingbacks. So we're going to sign some wingbacks as well. Maybe make a midfield signing. And we've got wingers. We've got a striker. Kevin Bowen's been good. But maybe to close out the season, we sign a marquee striker. You guys let me know in the comments who I should go after. Who's a nice guy with a budget of $13 million that we can sign on to the squad. Again, thank you to Football Manager for sponsoring this seven-part series. If you guys want to play alongside me, download link is in the description below. If you guys did enjoy the epi, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Update.